Hello again, welcome back. Another Belgian beer from Schuf. La Schuf or Brasserie or Brasserie La Schuf. This is a cherry Schuf. I love cherry beers. Creeks. Fruit beers, Lambics. I don't know what the ABV is on this actually. That's probably pretty high. 8%. I've already had a 10% their their winter beer. I've got my shoof glass, freshly rinsed. Let's crack it open. Love the crown. Let's see what it's like. Reddish tint tint. You can smell the cherry as it poured. <laughs> Tunes, cherry tunes. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if I recorded that. What? <laughs> Be noise for the the camera there. Oops. So it's cherry shoof from Belgium. I'm just in the pour. It did pour nicely. That head has now dissipated. But it was quite fizzy on the poor. These are very gassy beers, Belgian beers. Look at that. A pinky reddish pink, very pale pink. Uh, musl no muesli foam. Rocky foam. It's, it's dissipating. Let's get a wee smell. It is mainly cherry, but there's something else there. I wonder if it's like a wee bit of spiciness. I don't know if there's any spices in it, but it could be the yeast. Oh, man. I could just sit and smell that all night. Anyway, cheers, my dears. Let's see what it tastes like. That's so good. That's gorgeous. Cherries. There's something that's reminding me of something. Like, I don't know if it's like cherry brandy or something like that. It's, it's, it's delicious cherries. The slightest is sweet and sour. The slightest bit of hinty sourness. But there's also the sweetness as well. And there's other things going on, but my powers of description are poor. No chance I'll be able to read that writing on the, the bottle. Let's have a look at the website. Okay, this is from shoof.com. Cherry shoof. The aroma of cherry shoof gives pride of place to cherries. It also reveals notes of strawberry, almond, marzipan. That was it. Spices and sweet port. I'm saying cherry brandy. But it could be that, yeah. Round bodied, soft and delicate. Cherry shoof delights the gourmands among us. It's a satisfying finish. A very slight bitterness. You know, I was trying to identify the flavour there. And it's almonds. Marzipan. You know, I, I could not pick that. I couldn't identify that. That's it. It's marzipan. Almonds and cherries. 8% is hidden. What else? Three reasons to drink it. Because it's because a pink tinged beard is also cute. Better white monster. From cherry shoof to very shoof in just a few gulps. Like you, it combines softness and a strong character. 
I'm not sure about that. I'm soft, like, but, uh, in the head. A gnome accident paved the way for a good beer. Since our cherry shoof contains actual cherry juice, Marcel and Michelin need cherries to give this beer its beautiful or ruby colour. Our gnomes adore the juicy cherries. A bit too much sometimes. And there's more. Delicious served with tomatoes, red peppers, red cabbage and fennel. Uh, duck breast, stewed game dishes, oysters, almonds, raspberries, cherries and strawberries. Great website, check it out. This is an absolute delight. It really is. Joe, Jolie. I don't know if you've tried this, but let me know. Bramall Backroom Brewery, changes his name. Mr. B's Beer Reviews and Brewing. His wife, Jo, is a... I'm not saying she's an alcoholic. I'm not saying that. But she does drink a lot of cherry beers. Try this. Let me know if you've tried it. It's superb. One of a world class beer, as they say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears.